You guys ready to tackle a brand new problem? If you want to code along, make sure to hit the link in the description below. It's time to pop our daily dose of code. So today's problem guys is destroy those pairs. You're given a string str of lowercase letters. If the string has any adjacent pairs of the same characters, that pair must be removed. The new string must again be checked for adjacent pairs. Repeat these steps until no pairs exist. Input is str, our string, as we can see here, and this is our output. Let's see how we achieved that output. This right here is our input string. Now, right off the bat, we can see that d and d are adjacent pairs. So if we were to strike them off, we'd be left with A, B, C, C, E. Now the same step has to be continuously repeated until there are no adjacent pairs. Meaning, again, we're gonna have to remove C and C until we're left with A, B, E. Now there are no adjacent pairs. There's no B next to the B, there's no A next to the A, there's no E next to the E, which is why our output is gonna be A, B, E straight away. Constraints, the length of the string is between one and 10,000. And there are only lowercase alphabets in it. All right, good. Now I leave the screen open, destroy those pairs, soak the question in, think about it, write it down somewhere, if that helps you out, and we'll get back to it shortly. There are a couple of ways we can approach this problem. The first way is we're gonna run a pointer or a for loop across the length of the string. The moment you encounter two similar elements which are adjacent. So the moment string of i is equal to string of i plus one, we're going to delete these two characters and move the string down by one. So the two d's get deleted and the string goes down by one. Now, again, we're going to check. Since it's in a loop, it'll automatically check. This character and this character are equal. Since they're the two adjacent characters, i is equal to i plus one. So again, we remove the two c's move i down by one. Now a, b, and e, since this is here, it's gonna check if there's any b nearby. There's no b nearby, so it goes to the next element. Now that we hit e, we've reached the end of our string, so a, b, e is gonna be our final result. That's one way of doing it. That's a really good way of doing it. We're gonna tackle it using the alternate approach. So here's how we implement it using stacks. In case you don't know what a stack is, Arrays are normally represented horizontally. In our question, we're gonna represent our arrays vertically where the bottom is zero and the top is n minus one. So for this question, this is how we're gonna be implementing stacks. First, we're gonna put A inside the stack. So array of zero is gonna have A, A gets canceled out. Next, as you might've guessed, we'll put B inside. A and B both canceled out. Now we go to C and C goes to the top of our stack. When we put an element into the stack, it's called pushing. And in this process, we insert the element into the top of the stack. And when we remove elements or when we pop an element, we can also remove it only from the same direction. We can't remove it from the bottom. Now we see A, B, C, D go in. If the top of the stack, the element at the top of the stack is equal to the incoming element, the next incoming element will be D. So in case the two are equal, we're going to delete the top of the stack. So this right here gets deleted and this D right here gets canceled out. Similarly with C, the incoming element is C, the topmost element in the stack is C, delete this C, delete this C. This C goes and this C has to be removed. Finally, the last element that is E goes into our stack. Now our stack is fully formed. So we simply display the stack from bottom to top. So our final output will be A, B, E. This animated shot right here is gonna show us how to solve the problem using stacks. So initially let's assume this empty cup is our empty stack, there's nothing in it. And also let's assume our string is A, B, A, C, C. Each of them is represented by a unique color. Dark blue is A, green is B. When the second A comes in and two dissimilar colors touch each other, there's no problem. The first C comes in here and the moment the second C comes in, 
they both cancel each other out. And at this point, we unhesitantly display our stack from bottom to top. That's going to be our result. And this will work regardless of the length of the string and regardless of what the string is. It will always delete the two adjacent and equal characters. Here we see a solution in a coded form. Our stack is initially empty. We're going to put the first element in and our top is initially zero. Top is going to point to the uppermost element in our stack. Right here, B is the topmost element. So that's where top is going to point. Suppose this was the stack, top would point right here. Initially, top points to the zeroth element. This is the for loop that does most of the dirty work. We start from one since we've already put the zeroth character in. Now the first condition is if top is greater than equal to zero. The reason being, in case we put the first element in and the very first element is popped out, then our top, as we see, is going to become negative one. In that case, this condition won't run. We'll get an error, which is why we're going to have to place this condition first. And the string, the incoming character, is equal to the uppermost element in the stack. Then we pop it out and we decrease our top by one. Top no longer points to the uppermost element. It's now pointing to the element below it. If that is not true, all we do is we increase our top by one and we put the incoming element into our stack. Now, this is a way to stringify the character array to make your character array a string. If we compile and test, we can see our sample test cases have been passed and every single test case has been accepted. So guys, that's how you solve the problem. Destroy those pairs. If you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, the bell icon, as usual. I know most of you have already done it. In case you haven't, just consider doing it. It helps us out a lot. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments down below. Anything we can help you with or any problem you want us to code out for you, just tell us and we're here for you. It's been Vivek, guys. Great solving this for you. I'll see you guys next time.